Today I'll be showing you how to debug applications uh, in Go. So when you go to the Golang website, it says that Delve is a better alternative to the GDB tool when you're debugging Go programs. So you can download Delve from Derek Parker's website. And for me, I'm going to follow this uh, installation on OS X. So I, re I already did that earlier. So what I did is just follow these three steps and I was able to install Delve. Just to see if you've installed uh, Delve correctly, you should actually show it in your, uh, in your command line. So when you don't see it, most probably your Go path is not uh, set correctly. So you need to add your Go path to to your path, the bin directory of your go path. So basically this. So it can see the binary of Del. Alright. So I have a sample application that I did earlier. So basically this is application. So I have a person struck and I just populated uh, created four persons which is basically members of my family. And I have a, a family slice which contains a person. And I added all those uh, persons into the family by doing an append. Then just for demo purposes, I'm going to increment the age of my daughter, assuming that it's her birthday today. Right? So this is our application, a uh, simple application which we will debug. So just to start off, you need to go to your source where you have your main.go application. Then you do a del debug in that directory. All right. So once you have uh, the dev uh, application running, you can now start debugging your application. So just to see if what commands are actually available, just go just type in help and you'll see all the commands that are available. So to set a breakpoint, you need to type in the command break. Then for me, I, I'm more comfortable of uh, checking the line number. So you just do a main.go. And for example, I want to do a breakpoint in line 29. So you just say I want to do a breakpoint in line 29 of the main.go uh, file. So when you have it created, it will say that you have created that breakpoint. So if you want to list down all the breakpoints, you could just type in breakpoints and you will see all the list of breakpoints. Alright? So You can now start uh, debugging your application by doing a... Uh, so once you already have this uh, breakpoint, you can go through your application by doing a continue and it will stop at that breakpoint. So you see it stopped at uh, line 29 which uh, we set the breakpoint. So if you want to inspect a uh, variable, just do a print and uh, do the variable name, let's say sun say me right so if you want to print the values of the family slice so if you see it's not yet uh, it's not yet over that line that's why you don't really see anything inside the slice so if we want to step over one line over that uh, line 29 we just say n it's basically it's a shortcut for next then you see that it went over that uh, line, line 29. So now we're at uh, line uh, 31, which is uh, calling the birthday today uh, function. So if you inspect now the family slice, you'll see that we already have uh, data inside the family slice. All right. So there are a few commands that are available here. So you could also uh, do a list if you want to see where you are while doing the debugging. All right. You can also uh, uh, 
execute a command when it reaches that breakpoint. So let's say for that breakpoint, let's just check the number, of the, the breakpoint number. So it's breakpoint one. So if I want to execute a command when the the debugger reaches that uh, line, just say on breakpoint one. Just to probably a print family command. Then maybe we need to restart the application, uh, the the uh, debugging, so we can see the reflected changes using that on command, right? So it restarted the the process. Now you can click continue. And if you notice, right, when we type uh, continue, you see that it is actually printing the the family. Uh, slice the data in the family slice into into this to the terminal right so when you click next so it doesn't really make sense because there's no value yet inside this uh, slice right so maybe let's put another breakpoint in this uh, line 31 all right so let's say continue all right so let's also put a uh, print family after that line so on breakpoint two breakpoint two print family all right so let's restart the process so if you see uh line 29 there's nothing yet inside the family slice and click continue again you see here now that the data is actually shown because it's over that line 29. So that's pretty neat when you're trying to debug an application. So there are a few commands also uh, available like, uh, let's say I want to execute a commands from a file. Let's say I already prepared all the, the breakpoints uh, configuration in a file. Let's say I have this file. So let's change this to, to what we have. So breakpoint 29. Let's just go straight to 31 for this. All right. All right. So from here, you can just execute that, uh, that file. So it's, it's uh, on the other directory. So you need to do a dot dot. So to I'm just checking the command. So the command to to execute that is source. Then the bug config. I think you can name the file any file name you want. So it will execute that. See, so it means that it executed the file. So it's I'm setting a breakpoint at line thirty one, but it there's already a breakpoint that is existing. So it will not set it again. Right, so that's basically how you do it. Uh, how you uh, you use a file to load uh, commands to the debugger. Right, so yeah, so to clear all the breakpoints, you just do a clear all. So it will remove all the breakpoints. You can start over again. So you can also print a list of functions. Let's say I want all functions that is actually matched by the reg expression main. So you'll see all the functions that have uh, that matches that uh, regex, right? So, yeah. What else? Uh, yeah, those are the useful uh, fun uh, useful commands that I, I was able to see. So I think there's another one which is called local. So basically, you could actually see all the uh, local variables of the of the application all right so yeah so this is another interesting uh, command so it's a uh, set so meaning that I could set a uh, variables value by using the set uh, command yeah, this one let's say I want to change the age of uh, my 
my son. Let's say, for example, his birthday is uh, today. All right. So when you do a print son, you can see that. I was able to change the age of my son. So I was trying to to change this uh, the setting of this uh, variable for a string type, but it's not working and it says that it, it doesn't support it. Let's say set son that a that name calls equal. See, so it doesn't work for strings right so let's do a restart again so just to recap uh, we are uh, starting again so see so you can see that uh, we've uh, not set any breakpoint so let's set a breakpoint start with name for example you could also do this by by just putting the name of the method oops sorry all right so if you want to go through line by line just click N to go through line by line and you want to print a variable Y right all right just click next and if you want to go into you need you can go step and go inside the function so you could print the person Alright, so since uh, we clicked step when it was uh, going through this uh, function birthday today, then we will see that uh, the person, because I passed in a, uh, uh, a daughter uh, variable, which is basically addressed to a pointer, then you see that uh, my daughter's name and age is actually shown. Right? So... Yeah, you can also debug uh, Go routines. You can see that uh, I don't have a Go routine here, but uh, later on maybe I'll I'll show you another example with with some Go routines. So basically, that's it. Uh, it's a bit straightforward and easy to use, and it just probably if you're using a IDE like GoLand, right? You'll be able to uh, feel that the IDE is better, but you feel that it's not really very difficult as well to use a uh, Dell, right? So basically that's it. I hope you learned something from, from this video and I hope you put in some comments below. Uh, you can visit my website at uh, www.melvinbivas.com. I'll probably blog about this in a few days. And you can visit my GitHub as well. So my nickname in, in GitHub is Don Vito, right? and Twitter as well. You can find me as Don Vito as well. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.